Hey everyone, these are the Boy in the Striped Pajamas uh, chapter 10 questions. I'm gonna divide these into two parts also, so this is part one. Question one, describe Bruno's walk along the fence. Look to page the first paragraph of page 104 for this one. Uh, I'm just gonna summarize, he walks for a long time, or he walks for, he says almost an hour. Um, the house and the camp both start getting smaller and smaller behind him until he can't see them anymore. And then there's just wide open space uh, on, and, and this fence in front of him. Question two, why does he almost turn back? Uh, again, on page 104, uh, he says that he's starting to feel a little hungry. He thought that maybe that was enough exploration for one day and it would be a good idea to turn back. So he's hungry. Question three, describe the boy that Bruno meets. There's a fair bit of description here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through all of it. Uh, it says that he's smaller than Bruno and remember that Bruno, we know, is small for his age to begin with. So this boy is very small. Uh, it says he has a forlorn expression. Forlorn means sad. He's not wearing any shoes or socks and his feet are dirty. Remember, he's, uh, he's a, we're getting an image of a, a prisoner in the concentration camp. Um, he has no shoes and his feet are dirty. Um, it says that his skin was almost the color of gray. I'm imagining here that he's sick. Um, he's not well. He's not eating very much. Um, he's, not, uh, he's, not, he's not well. He has very large eyes that are the color, color of caramel sweets. Um, and again, I imagine because he's so small, his eyes probably look really big. So we have an, an image of a, of a young boy who is um, said hungry, dirty, not in very good health. Also, the, uh, the armband, uh, that image, uh, the, the drawing picture on page, uh, page 106, remember that's the, same, that's the Star of David. That's the same armband that um, the Franks wore, if you remember, in the diary of Anne Frank, that um, Anne, Anne and Peter were thinking about, uh, about burning. They had that whole conversation about that. It's the same, it's the same star. It's that same um, armband um, that signifies that they're Jewish, that they were all forced to wear. What are Bruno's first impressions of Shmuel? Shmuel? Uh, he says that he was sure he'd never seen a skinnier or sadder boy in his life. Page 107. His name is Shmuel. I have a hard time saying it sometimes uh, myself. Uh, Shmuel, it's a, uh, it's a Hebrew name and it's kind of like our Samuel or Sam. But it shows us, it, it represents to us that he is, uh, that he is Jewish. Shmuel. What is unusual about Shmuel's birthday? It is April 15th, 1934, the exact same day that Bruno was born. And this is another thing that's not just a coincidence that uh, Boyne throws in. Uh, it's already setting up for us this kind of image of them as twins, right? Bruno says that they're, that they're twins. They're exactly the same age. They're born on the same day. And yet, despite that, they have very, very different lives, right? One is German. The other is Polish and Jewish. And we see it's already setting up for us this stark contrast between them, despite the fact that as humans, just as, as boys, uh, they are identical in that way.